So this is 6.2, the second section in matrices. And here we're going to be doing matrix multiplication. Now this is different to adding. I'm going to just make up some matrices, run for an example. Um, and then hopefully once we've done the example, um, we should be able to um, see what it is we need to do. So this first matrix is three by two. And then I'm going to do a matrix which is two by uh, four. So five, zero, one, two, negative one, one, seven, negative three. Okay. Now the first thing is that we can only multiply um, matrices where these two numbers are the same. So basically the width of the first matrix needs to be equal to the height of the second matrix. Yeah. So the width of uh, a will do, so let's say we're doing A times B. So the width of A uh, uh, must equal the height of B. Yeah, so let's do that first. Let me run through what we need to do to do multiplication. Now, it's not the same as addition where we just add each element to each other and you see you can't do that. So the first thing we do, we do three times five. And then what we do, we go across to one, but then down to the negative one. So we do three times five plus one times the negative one. And we write that answer down. So what we've done is multiplied the first numbers in the first row by the first column. So my answer will go in the first row and the first column, and I'll write that in a minute. If I then multiplied three by zero, and then add one times one, so three times zero, which is zero, plus one, which is just one, that number in my answer matrix will go in the top row, but in the second column. The same thing as if I did three times one, plus one times seven, which is 10, that would go in the top row and the third column of my answer. So the first matrix defines which um, row it's gonna go in in the answer. First row, second row, third row. The second matrix defines which column it's gonna go in the first column, the second column, third or the fourth column. So let's say for example, I were to multiply this row, the second row by the third column. So I would do five times one, plus six times seven, that number would go in the second row and the third column of my matrix. So what I would have is a matrix with the answers in that is actually three um, high and four across. So these outer numbers here give you the dimensions of the matrix that you're gonna finish with. As long as this is the same, because you're going across here and you're going down here. So for every element, where you go across here, there must be a corresponding one when you go down, yeah? So if we swap the order of these matrices and put this one in front, it wouldn't work, you wouldn't be able to do it because you'd be going four across here, but you'd need four to go down here, it wouldn't work. So let's work this out and uh, see what we get. Right, so um, we're gonna do three times five, which is 15. Um, plus one times one. So I'm basically doing this times this. And then I'm adding this times this. So when I go across, when I go down, um, so that's gonna be 15 minus one, 14 goes in the first um, row and first column. Okay, right, let's, let's say we go and do uh, this one. So we do three times, zero and then one times one 
So 3 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. So that goes in the top row still, but in the second column. So second element here is 1. OK, let's carry on. Take these out. So um, let's do first row, third column, first row, third column. 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1 times 7, which is 10. So 10 goes here. And then the last element in that top row is going to be 3 times 2 plus 1 times negative 3. So that's going to be 6 minus 3, which is 3. OK, so that's all the elements in the top row. So what I do now is I now move down to this row. So I'm going to do 5 times 6 and six times negative one so this is going to go in the first column but the second row so five times five is 25 minus six is 19 we'll take these out then the next one i think you get the idea now uh five times zero and then plus five times or oh, six times one so that's going to be six. OK, now the rest I'm just going to do by reading the numbers out. So hopefully you get the idea. Next one, uh, five times one plus six times seven. So that's five plus 42. So that's 47. Then five times two, 10 minus 18, negative eight. Bottom row, zero times five. Um, plus 2, so that's going to be 2. Next one, 0 times 0, minus 2. Next one, negative 14. And the last one is going to be 6. So this is my answer here. And notice the dimensions of the answer matrix is 3 in height and 4 in width. These two outer numbers here. So those two outer numbers will tell you the width of the answer. So when we do the multiplications, we basically go, as we go across here, we go down here and we multiply each pair and we add those pairs together. OK, so here we're going to do A times B. So the order in which the letters are written is the order in which we do them. Right, so um, first element, so we're going to do 1 times negative 3, which is negative 3, uh, minus 4, so negative 7. Then the last one is just the bottom row, 3 times negative 3, negative 9, plus 8 is negative 1. That's it. And then in part B, it's asking... Uh, y is b times a not possible. Well, if I were to write it out, here's b. Okay, so as I go across, I need to go down. But here, I'm only going one across, put two down. Okay, so really, the the sizes of the matrices don't match. Okay, so the sizes don't match in other words the width of b does not equal the height of a so that's why we can't multiply them together so unlike normal numbers with matrices um, you can't always swap them around and get the same answer. It's um, uh, not commutative. So you can't just uh, swap them around. And actually, sometimes when you swap them around and you can multiply them, you don't get the same answers. Right, OK. So I'm guessing we can do these ones, A times B and B times A. 
and they're both square matrices so that's not a problem right so let's write the first one out that's a this is b 4 1 0 negative 2 and suppose on this we're going to be seeing if a times b equals b times a do we get the same answer right so first element negative 1 times 4 plus 0 times 0 is negative 4 uh, second element uh, on the top row negative 1 times 1 which is negative 1 0 times negative 2 bottom row 2 times 4 3 times 0 8 last element 2 times 1 2 minus 6 is negative 4 okay so this is what a b is a times b let's have a look at b times a what do we get there so we're just swapping the order 4 1 0 negative 2 and then negative 1 0 2 3 what happens here so first element um, we have negative 4 plus 2 so it's negative 2 already I can see it's not the same uh, second element top row 4 times 0 1 times 3 bottom row 0 times negative 1 negative 2 times by negative 2 and then 0 times 0 and negative 6 okay so that's BA you can see it's completely different it's not as if the numbers are even swapped around yeah so in this example AB does not equal BA like it does in normal multiplication where you just doesn't matter about the order so what we can say for matrices is the order matters yeah the order in which we do multiplication matters first letter is the first matrix you do that first the second letter is the second matrix you do that second so don't change the order there's a and b and we're told that b times a is zero so b times by a is zero right now if i do b times a i get negative one times by b um, plus two times a equals zero okay so that means that b equals two a now it says find a b in terms of a which means replacing this element here with two a so um, a b is going to be negative one a um, times by not b but two a two now if we look at the dimensions the first matrix is two by one and the second one is one by two so it means we're going to finish with a matrix which is two by two so you end up with a bigger one right so um, first column uh, first row so negative one times by 2a is negative 2a first column uh, or top row uh, top column is going to give me um, or f first row second column that's going to give me negative two negative one times two bottom row first column two a times by a two a squared and then bottom row second column two a so that would be what it is in terms of a okay right find bca now um multiplying matrices multiplying matrices if you've got more than one is what we call is called associative associative now what does that mean multiplication normal multiplication is associative so if i had two times three times four well i could do two times three first and get six then times that by four to get 24 or i could do three times four first so i end up doing uh 
2 times 12 and also get 24. So I'm keeping the order the same. I'm just multiplying 2 out of the 3. So when I work this out, I could multiply B and C together first, then times it by A, or I could multiply C and A together first, and then multiply that by B. Yeah, I'm keeping the order the same, but I'm doing two at a time. So I'm actually going to start by doing B and C first and multiplying those together since they're the first two. So that means I'm going to be doing um, B times C. So that's going to be, so let's write this down. B, C is going to be 3, negative 2, multiplied by 4, 5. So I'm doing B times C first. Whatever that is, I'll then multiply it by A. Um, so that just gives me 3 times 4, 12, minus 10. So I just get 2. I just get a single element. 1 by 1 matrix. 3 times 4, 12, minus 10 is 2. So now that's what BC is. So I now take that 2 and I multiply it by A which is 1, negative 1, 2, which is a bit like a scalar. So I will end up with 2, negative 2, 4. Now, if I had done it where I had multiplied together um, the other two first, if I had done C times A first, which I don't think we've, we would have been able to do, because of the number of elements. So I could do 1 times 4. No, we won't be able to do C times A first. So in this case, we had to do B, C first um, before we get the answer. But yeah, the order is the same, but we can multiply two at a time. Two, those two, then those two. But it so happened that we couldn't do those two first because of the size, the dimensions of the matrices. We did B times C first, and then we get this as our final answer. Right, you should now be able to do exercises or exercise 6b on pages 101 to 103.